Hi, I'm attorney Jim Dodson. When someone suffers a subdural hematoma, it's actually one of the most serious brain injuries in terms of acute injury that can occur. And it arises when there is bleeding on the surface of the brain. It's a very important that this be diagnosed right away because when, when, the, when the brain begins to bleed, that blood has to accumulate or create a, a, a pocket somewhere. And when it does that, it begins to put pressure on the brain because remember the brain is encased within the skull and there's nowhere for this to go other than for it to start pressing on the brain tissue. So depending on where the bleeding has occurred, it's going to affect the, that area of the brain. Uh, number one, this bleeding has to be stopped. And if, it is, if it's already stopped and there's blood accumulated, in many situations it has to be removed or what the doctor would call evacuated. Kind of the classic call for the neurosurgeon, sometimes they'll drill a hole in that part of the skull or in real serious cases have to actually go in and remove part of the skull to get access to the area that's been affected. So subdural hematomas need to be evaluated quickly. They are, pure, they are clearly a life-threatening emergency. And when someone suffers the symptoms that you know, sort of indicate this type of injuries, like passing out, loss of consciousness, nausea, vomiting, um, motor function, there's a list of them that we have on the site. They need to be evaluated right away because of the life-threatening nature of this type of injury.